Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, my name is Jay God. In today's video we're going to be talking about the top 5 operator mods in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And although I think there's plenty of people who know what operator mods are and how to equip them, I'm going to briefly run through that and then jump right into my top 5 list. There are a total of 18 different operator mods and each one does something slightly different to modify the weapon. Sometimes it's as simple as adding a bayonet onto the weapon or changing a weapon from a 4 round burst to 5. So now let's go ahead and talk about how to equip an operator mod. I think a lot of people struggle with this just because it's not always blatantly obvious in the game. Step one is to make sure that the weapon has an operator mod and you can see under the weapon stats there is a little location where it says op mod then it has the name of that weapon specific operator mod. So depending if you decided to go with the weapon that was a primary weapon or a secondary weapon you're going to have different options. But either way you're going to still have to go into your wild cards and when you select wild cards you're going to have two options primary operator mod wild card or secondary operator mod wild card depending on the weapon you chose you're gonna have to make sure they align and once you've done all that it should be as simple as equipping any other attachment also in case it's not obvious you're gonna need at least three pick 10 slots to equip an operator mod and that's gonna be one for the wild card and two for the operator mod right now we're gonna go ahead and jump into that top five list but just as a reminder if you do enjoy the video in any way or enjoyed it up to this point make sure you hit that like button and if you're brand new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button with notifications on so you can find your way back to the channel I typically cover content related Call of Duty primarily news in-game updates best class setups subscriber breakdowns as well as many other tip and trick videos so number five on my list is the dual wield SOG operator mod this one is actually one of the more fun operator mods to use because it completely changes the way you use the weapon and funny enough this is the only weapon in the game that you're able to dual wield or run akimbo when you do run this operator mod you kind of got to treat it like a run and gun shotgun that actually works and the reason I say that is because when you use other shotguns there's a lot of inconsistency with it but when you use the dual wield you're gonna have tons of consistency as long as you stay within that shotgun range if you can manage to do that your time to kill is gonna be incredibly fast and people are gonna be kind of annoyed that you're melting them so quickly so hopefully you have a lot of fun with it i highly recommend running gung-ho with dual wield if you decide to give it a little bit of a test run also as you guys watch the video go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below do you agree or disagree with this list and let me know what your top five operator mod list looks like number four on my list is going to be the sg12 operator mod which is the strobe light and i'm pretty sure most of you have run up against this shotgun where you're completely blinded you lose aim assist even though it was nerfed it's still a little bit too easy to use in an average player's hand and it is just annoying and an above average hand it is almost broken the main time I actually used this operator mod when I was grinding for that dark matter trying to get these headshots with the SG-12 so that's some of what you're seeing in the background so let me ask you guys this that have experience with this weapon do you think it needs to be nerfed a little bit further or do you think the nerf was good enough obviously being on controller the only part that really annoys me is the lack of aim assist when they're actually hitting you with the strobe light the next operator mod on my list taking that third spot is going to be the belt feed operator mod that comes with the cordite and one of the craziest things about this weapon is you literally never have to reload once you equip this operator mod you'll load into the match with 600 rounds it doesn't actually affect the way the weapon performs in any way as far as range time to kill shots to kill any of that type of stuff you just load in with 600 rounds just keep in mind that when you use this operator mod if you hold the trigger a little bit too long it will overheat the weapon and you'll have to wait for that cooldown but that's something you typically get used to considering it takes 60 to 70 consecutive shots for the weapon to overheat even though this isn't a top tier smg in my opinion if the smgs ever got a buff as a whole or this got a buff individually i think this would be a top tier weapon automatically because of this operator mod with that we'll go ahead and transition to the number two weapon on my list List, which is the mozu operator mod called the skull splitter in case you're unsure what this operator mod does the skull splitter makes it so that one bullet to the head will be insta death which sounds a little bit overpowered at first glance especially if someone's very accurate but the smart thing that the game did to balance it out was to make it a revolver so that you can only fire six bullets before having to reload so this is definitely one of the ones i hate running up against especially if the player is good because with any weapon it doesn't matter as long as they hit that first shot to the head you basically have no chance and it's with that we'll go ahead and transition into the number one spot on the list as far as operator mods are concerned and that is the pentaburst for the swordfish and i know for some this might actually be a surprise that it's actually this high on the list and one of the main reasons the pentaburst is so high on my list is because it's so forgiving and so dominant just by adding the pentaburst you can make the swordfish a one-shot kill obviously you can go the high caliber route 
but this leads to very consistent one burst kills. And even if you don't get that one burst kill, it's very forgiving to land that second shot, which is what really makes it a low risk, high reward type of situation. Again, do you agree or disagree with my list? Also, if you did enjoy the video in any way, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe, turn notifications on so you can find your way back to the channel. Appreciate all the support on all of my videos. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a great day.